Hello everyone, this is Swati from Cisco Server Virtualization Team. Today I'll be talking about UCS C4200 series chassis, starting with a brief description about the product. The Cisco UCS C4200 series rack server chassis is a modular, dense rack server chassis that supports up to four UCS C125 and five rack server nodes, optimized for use in environments requiring dense compute form factor and high core densities such as scale out, compute intensive, general service provider, and bare metal applications. This chassis is of, is of two rack unit and can hold maximum of four rear slots supporting four compute nodes and 16 DIMMs per node. It has 24 small form factor drive bays segmented into four groups of six direct attached drives. Here we have front view and the rear view of the chassis. It has four fans for cooling which are seated right behind the disk slots. There are two PSUs which are seated in between the compute nodes. On the right hand side, there's a pictorial representation of the rack enclosure in the GUI and the CLI. In the CLI, you can run the command show rack enclosure to check the presence of chassis in the environment and show PSU, show fan module to check the presence of PSUs and fan modules in the rack enclosure. In this diagram, we have compute node to disk mapping. The right, the top right corner uh, of the node is mapped with the leftmost corner of the disk slot. The compute nodes are present on the rear side of the chassis while the disk slots are present on the front side of the chassis. Now we'll have a look at the C4200 series chassis. This is the front view of the C4200 series chassis. The LED panel is present on the left hand side of the chassis. There are four drive bays, which consist of six drive slots. To remove the top cover of the fans, press the screw towards outside and remove the top cover. To remove the fan modules, press it towards outside. Gently put back the fan module in the slot and place back the top cover. These are the slots for the compute nodes. There are four slots for the compute nodes and the two PSUs in the middle of the compute nodes. To remove the node from the slot, press the thumb screw towards outside and gently pull out the compute node. This is C125M5 compute node. Hope this video was informative for you. Thank you for watching.